Use a T20-bit to remove the eight screws securing the upper and lower housing of the steering wheel assembly. Remove the upper and lower housing of the steering wheel from the tube assembly. Unbuckle the wire holder. Unplug the LCD wiring connector from the control box. Use a 16mm socket to remove the two head bolts holding the inner tube assembly. Remove the steering wheel assembly from the tube assembly. Flip the steering wheel over. Use a T15 bit to remove the four screws that secure the two cord clamps. Use a T20 bit to remove the four screws on each corner of the angle measuring electric assembly. Use a T20 bit to remove the plastic holder and sleeve. Use a circlet pliers to remove the clip then remove the washer. Use a T15 bit to remove the belt tensioner assembly clamp. Use a T15 bit to remove the belt tensioner assembly. Remove the timing belt and replace with a new one. Mount the belt on the bigger pulley first then manually slide it over the teeth on the smaller pulley. Press the belt to ensure it is firmly attached to the two pulleys. Mount the belt tensioner assembly. Slide the belt tensioner assembly against the belt until six notches are visible outside the back edge ensuring. Tighten the clamp screw to secure the belt tensioner assembly. Mount the washer and clamp on the small pulley. Tighten the two screws to secure the plastic holder and sleeve. Tighten the four screws to secure the angle measuring electric assembly. Tighten the four screws to secure two cord clamps. Insert the LCD wire into the connector on the side near the outlet. Mount the steering wheel on the tube assembly. Assemble the two lock nuts from the bottom and tighten the bolts using a 16mm socket. Plug the wire that connects to the control box and secure the wire holder. Tighten the eight screws to secure the upper and lower housing. 